Hello everyone and welcome back to my intro to Unreal Engine 4 tutorial series. Uh, in this episode I'm going to tell you a little bit about the content browser. Um, I figured I'd, I'd include this in one of the earlier episodes so you don't have trouble um, finding what you're looking for. So any of the content that you're going to use in Unreal Engine 4 will be in here. And by content, uh, I mean a, mo uh, a number of things. It could be Blueprints, which is code, C++ code, levels, materials, particles, um, a skeletal mesh, which is the skeleton for um, a character or an animation, a static mesh, which is just a 3D model that doesn't really move, or it can move, it just, it's not, um, it doesn't deform. Um, textures are just the images that are your textures. We'll get into the difference between the materials and textures later. Um, and then you can go and there's all these other types of assets. There's animation, blueprints, physics, yada yada. Um, so when we're adding content from the content browser, um, if you started your project with the starter content, that's kind of good to play with. If you did not, you can go add new content pack and it's right here. And, um, for example, let's look at some of the props. So these are these are static meshes that if I want to use these, I can just literally drag them into the scene. Nice and easy. Um, one nice little trick is if you're moving things around, if you press the end key on your keyboard, it drops it to the floor. Um, so that's, you know, how you put normal assets in it. Asset, so if you wanted um, particle effects, for example, just drag it in there. Um, audio, too. You can even drag these guys in here. And the audio is um, on 3D spatial audio, and you can kind of have these. So if I had an explosion, I'd, I'd fire that. Um, let's see, materials, you can kind of, if you want a material on a thing, you can just kind of drag it onto there, and I'll show you, or, let's see, yeah, I think in the next video, um, but for now, I just wanted to show you the content browser, so, if I'm in the content browser, and you're looking for something, like, if I'm looking for the player character, for example, um, I can do two things. I can search for it. So if I click on content, that means I'm at the root folder. Oh, let me start with this. So if that, if you don't see a little arrow with some lines next to it, and you might have to open up some of these drop downs. Um, so if I were to, to, for example, click on this bottom folder and do a filter for a skeletal mesh, I won't really see anything. But if I'm at the root folder, which is which contains all other folders, and I do a filter, um, this is a really great way of finding stuff. You can do a filter for anything. So in this case, if I wanted a skeletal mesh, it'll show me that these are all the skeletal meshes. They're even color-coded and stuff. If you hover over anything, it'll also show you a little tooltip with some information. Um, but that's a quick way to find things. If I'm looking for uh, maybe particles, what you know, if I'm doing a level and I need some particles, okay, I click that. This is all I have to work with. Um, you can also search for things. So if I wanted to just find fire, I can search, and here's everything that has to do with fire. Um, let's see. You can make new folders pretty easily. Just go add new, new folder. You know. Oh, no spaces, by the way, in anything. You can use underscores or, or capital letters like I do. Um, and then you can, you know, I usually have my students make a custom folder for anything that they've custom, you know, done other than the stuff they have default. I put all the custom stuff in there. Um, just keep track of where you're putting things so the people you're working with can um, can find it. And also, you'll have to decide eventually on a naming convention so that um, everybody uses the same kind of uh, names when they call an asset something. So for example, Epic uses the naming convention of M underscore the name of the material. So M for material underscore 
name of material with capital letters. I mean, that, this is just being um, particular, but when you get a bigger team or get a bigger project, you do want to be particular about um, naming conventions. Anyways, the last thing I was going to show is uh, a quick way to change something. You can look through all these different options that you can find, but my favorite is just being able to change the scale. So I can see these uh, materials quick and easy. Or if you use this, that'll make them bigger or smaller. And roll the mouse to make them bigger or smaller. Um, also, if you want to import any content, you just hit import here. You can also pretty much drag stuff from your desktop just straight into here, and it generally works. Um, and also, the, my favorite button, the save all button, will save the content you've been doing. Um, so hopefully that helps you find what you're looking for in the content browser and stay organized. Um, and I will catch you in the next video.